that mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's go back to Africa. Okay. But hey, let me not? let me build with you real fast. You say you only got twenty right. minutes. Yeah. Okay, brother. Hey, Shaka. I'm going on mute. Okay. Yeah. Turn the, the camera is. I think taking some of the bandwidth or something. Okay. No problem. No problem. Hey, peace. Who is this, Rob Rex? Yeah. Oh, what's up, bro? Um, I was this indigenous realist. I had um. I had slid back from YouTube for about a year, but I used to um, be in solar solar vision debates when they first started and stuff. I used to see you in there. I used to support you up in the chat and stuff. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, the reason why I wanted to come on though, cause you was like, oh, we got the abos in here. Like that term, that term is really for Australians. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm, I'm Chief Sabi Indigenous and um, my whole perspective is like, we are the original inhabitants from this land. We didn't come across the seas from Africa on no boats. And there ain't no going back to Africa because we didn't ever come there. We weren't kings and queens in Africa. We weren't royalty. Africa got invaded and subjugated um, thousands of years ago from Alexander the Greek to the Muslims to everybody else. You get what I'm saying? I, I recently accepted Christ, but I'm not in any form of religion or anything you get what i'm saying i'm just really a student nope. I, I i study um oh uh oh uh oh he said nope i don't get what you're saying come on with it robert uh <clears throat> yeah brother so i mean number one uh well we can skip the abo part the or the indigenous part real quick the abo but part is, is is important because yeah, you know I, what i'm saying you got people using that term and i just don't want to be affiliated what? with them yeah my bad so you know like this the people who believe or ha have a strong notion that the what we would call the african-american over in the americas is a completely different uh group of negroid from the african right yeah totally correct okay can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. So that's Yeah, I hear you clear. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to know is how where did the um where did the the people who look like the 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 Apocalypto uh remember that movie Apocalypto? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where where did they come from? Before okay, the um before the Spaniards came over here. Where did they come now, from? Now, when you say the people that look like the apocalypse, are you talking about the mongoloid, the so-called Native American? Or are you talking about what do you what do you mean? Uh, you talking about that um the the head the um no not you talking about the berry head the Omax? No, no, uh, uh, I'm talking about the the people who look like um like dark skin. You know, like Puerto Ricans or something. Oh, you know oh, yeah, like yeah. That's they just look that. like a, if I showed you like a, a real Peruvian with dark skin, and I'm not talking right. Like you talking about your El Salvadorian, your Dominican, yeah. your no, yeah. Not, not okay. Dominicans. No, no, no. I'm talking the ones that look like the people from the movie Apocalypto. Like when I when okay. I if I typed in. Okay. Uh, um, I can't. I can't get off my stream. Because I'm okay, on the phone, yeah, so I, yeah, so I can't type me. in apocalypto. But okay, I'll pull it. This up. is th this is what I I say, and then just let me know if I'm on point. As far as like, this is when you look at a um a so-called black or African American. When you look at us in the face, we have certain features. Not just some of us, not just a few of us, but like all of us really have a certain features. We have a a, do you, a do you unique. See the screen? I actually do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like now right. I know this is a movie, right. but get what I'm saying? Where did oops, where did those people come from? And you're talking about on what continent and um or what island specifically? No, like they they would they would say that they from Brazil as well. Oh, okay. That's you know, just a admixture. Like look, look. You got to look at the mixture of what though? Look, what? when See, you when you're talking about the Americas, I'm I'm with you, brother. When you're talking about the Americas, 
You know what I'm saying? You're including North, South, and Central. And me, I say Australia. I feel Australia is right here just a stone's throw away, just a sail away. Now, um, when you're talking about the Americas, you got to look at the um, the Southern, the, the South Americas and the islands. They were invaded by the Spaniards. So that's why they get that dialect. That's why they get that language because their their conqueror or their invader was Spanish. We're talking, okay. Um, about how long have the indigenous people who would, I would you we would classify as Negroes? How long have they been in, in in America since the beginning? Right. Since the beginning. Okay, about how many thousands of years would you say that was? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even okay. attempt to make um okay, let's just, a calculation let's just, or okay, a calculated let's just, guess let's just say twenty five thousand years is that cool we just okay I, I say we've been over here now now you got to look at it like this right now I'm, let's I'm, just, I'm just giving a number to it right just give me I, right but but i'm saying okay. i want to say this before you go on i'm just want to say i'm study like um i've been studying about this culture for about the last the better part of the last decade bro but right now i'm on the on the edge where i'm trying to see the Hebrew connection and see maybe where these were the indigenous people that were here. Maybe they were the people who were sent to the land of Canaan, the land of Canaan. They could never find. They were looking for slaying giants and stuff. We see the Americas have giants. We see the Hebrew scripture here in the Americas. So I'm kind of on that point, but I'm also just until I know facts on it, I'm saying that we were here and that we didn't migrate from anywhere. We're not immigrated from anywhere. We're not, um, you Got get it. what I'm saying, so, but uh, yeah. So what you're saying is that there were uh, millions of black people over here, and then before 25, colonization, and then 20, 25 white people came here and subjugated the whole land. That's what you're saying. No, no, not at all, Robert. Actually, you know that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that millions of white people came over here. They released all the prisoners from um, the UK. And all the surrounding countries, they released all the prisoners from Europe. They were bringing over criminals from Africa. Now, you got to look, Europe is North Africa. So the African continent is really largely Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is. It's just a humongous wasteland. God, you have you have Europeans God, to the south. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna call it like it is. You gonna have you you got Europeans in South America uh, in South Africa. They been ran they been ran through South Africa, and conquered that, and they were established over there for over 500 years. Plus, you got North Africa, which is Europe. You know what I'm saying? Europe is North Africa, and you get what I'm saying. Africa has been ran through, watered down. The slaves they were brought over here a small amount, nowhere near a million. There were Africans that came over here, but pushing more towards the thousands. You get what I'm saying? Uh, the make, okay. I don't now, give them 100,000. I, I give okay, them 10,000. I, I, I get it. I understand. But this is okay. what I just wanted to get to know something. Please help me out. Okay, I got let's, you. Let's do you, when was the first European, uh, like around what year were like the first Europeans over here? doing anything just whatever even trading kicking it when did um they that's where you get the establishment of the um 13 colonies so if that's what you're saying you're talking about here in north america i said establishment of the 13 colonies and the thereafter genocide and um so-called wrangling wild wild west and pushing onward expansion you get what I'm saying? So that's what I would say from the 13 colonies to expansion to industrial revolutions, all that type of stuff. OK, so. So basically, uh, the Europeans didn't come here till about, let's just say, 1500. Um, I, I would say um, around the 1500s, around the 16th century on up. Yeah. For the okay. last 400 years, 400 plus years. Yes, sir. OK, so. About. When would you say uh, the Negroes that were here mixed with what? Because the okay, the Mayans. You okay? Are the Mayans Negro? Um, Maybe, you, wait, wait, wait. Let's get this out the way. Yeah, because I wanna. Because you're not gonna. 
What? I'm I know. I know you're cold. I know you're cold, Robert. But I want to get it. Yeah, I'm glad you stated that clearly because you was going somewhere else at first. But um, were the Mayans black? Yes. And all the indigenous tribes, all the original inhabitants of North, South, and Central America in the islands, including Australia, were so-called black people. But I would rather describe them as a copper tone people. I don't use the word black. I don't okay, use the word so, white. All right. Now, if I showed you a picture once again, I'm going to show you the same Right. Picture. And Wait, now on, I, get, I get what hold you're on. saying now. Hold on, brother. Oh, okay. My bad. Okay. What, what color skin would you say this is? Even though they're movie actors, they're pe real people. I just use that. What what color skin would that be to you? They'll be copper. They're Got copper tone. It. Got it, got it, got it. You see that, y'all? All right. But they're so not the yellow. They're not the yellow of, and they have on makeup. But that's they're not the. They have on tanning. Um, I can see that clearly. But they have. Um, but that tone they're trying to mimic. That tone they're trying to um, fool the people with. That's our tones. You get what I'm saying? That's the so-called um, brown skin, yellow bone, um, light brown, paper sack brown, peanut butter brown. That's the tone they're trying to mimic. So when you see it in movies, you see it in commercials, you see it in school literature, so, that copper tone being portrayed, they're trying to portray okay, so, us. Okay, so you're saying that... So y'all hear that, people, okay. that we're Wait, not okay. talking you, about those people are copper. All right. So right. You, you know that they have these type of people in the Americas. Right. And those type of people, those type of people have been a mix with us. Yeah. Got but it. I'm saying the, other, um, if, what, if you're here's my question, though. Right. Before the European came. And made, you know, the, the people lighter or whatever. Right. What people lighter? No, I'm not going to. No. You got Mexicans. OK. Uh, how do you how do you how do you explain uh Mexicans. Mex Mexicans, I would say those are our children. Those are our sons. Uh, the Mexicans got invaded by the Spaniards, and that's why their language did, changed, and they were mixed. They were mixed, but originally people. Mexico was brother, totally what you'll call black. Brother, did have you seen? I can show you a picture of Blake Griffin, right? Okay. Now, when uh, when Blake Griffin, I mean, what you're saying is that the uh that the mexicans do like three generations look like that but if i showed you that the Negro no it has been at least um it has been at least um six five six seven generations you get what okay. i'm saying mexicans yeah, breed have, and they breed young and you yeah, know don't didn't having black people been intermingled with the white man no too? we were corralled no listen the blacks the blacks were corralled by the Spaniards, we were corralled up out of Mexico. Do you get what okay, I'm saying? But like they, the they, but we still the we still the same same people. Now look, right, we're all the same people. This no, is the no, only no, place. No. I mean, we still look. We okay. Listen, listen, listen. The same European that came over here that invaded the so-called whatever other peoples, right? So black people here too, right? What do you mean? Like I don't get what you're saying, Rob. Right. You black. gotta say it clear, cause I don't want to just uh, agree to anything. Okay, niggas. Right. Okay, us. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so, us. All right. Now, so you have us. Right. The same. The same. Then you have the not us. The when you speak of not us, you're talking about the European colonizer, or are you no. talking about the um the so-called Native so, American? You you need to you need to show me. Listen, brother, you're gonna have to show me how. Uh how black how niggas turn to mexicans no mixing with the because okay listen bro if i show you if i can t i'm gonna type this in uncontacted tribe right and what i want you to do is let me let me answer your question because you, you you're not you're just gonna do no, I'm going to I'm going to answer you. I'm going to say niggas did not turn into Mexicans. What do you what do you got to realize is about the caste system. When the year when the west when the west, I mean when the east came over here, they brought with them this caste system where the lighter the better. And so therefore they were catching niggas us. So they were catching so-called aboriginal so-called black people and they were selling them or scalping them, selling their scalps. You get what I'm saying? So basically they didn't breed they didn't breed us out of existence down there in Mexico. No. They're still full, they're still full black, so-called black. They're still really, really dark, copper tone, dark brown tone, 
Mexicans in Mexico. Okay. A Got lot it. of them. Got it. And if you look so, on the Bonapac murals, have you ever heard of the Bonapac yeah, murals? No. What I what I want to know is when you see the like, okay, the native people that are in the Americas that are not Negro. Right. Right. Were they here before the white man came over here? Were those type of people here? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Got it. That's where we at. So now cool. got it. So now those type of people, how did they become different from the people who look the like aborigines the aborigines yes how, who did that's they a very clear question and i will answer it as clear right. as possible those people never not became them the most two separate peoples those are asian immigrants got it got it I know you was expecting me to go longer. No, it's just a clear question get a clear answer. Yeah. So those are the Asian immigrants. Got it. Now, Correct. Who, wait, I, now I where they get the culture from being over here for thousands of years, they, no, they assimilated, you. learned the culture, but it was still a thing of racial purity. So they kept, we didn't intermix with them that much. Yeah. Let me, let me see the like Siberian totem poles. Hold on now. Right. They traveled through the Siberia. They traveled through the tundra. They um they traveled through Russia. They came through Russia from Asia. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Chinese through and, Alaska. Uh, that's where you get the and, um and the Mongols and the uh, yeah, the Mongols and the Russians mixed. In Correct. Oh, yeah. Got it. All right. No, no, no. We ain't going to say they mixed. We're going to say that those were stopping posts like they stopped there. You know, they left a little. They left a little something there, but you got also got to realize once they came here, you know, there had to been they wanted people wanted to know where they came from. So, you know, what I'm saying aboriginals traveled up back up that way. You know what I'm saying? But there was already world trade going on. There was already world trade going on. OK, how did they get to outnumber us? They don't outnumber us. You're talking about the um the so-called Native American, the Mongoloid? No, I'm talking about the people's. The Europeans? No, the the other peoples, the ones who you said are the Mongoloid. They don't outnumber us. That's what I'm saying. The so-called Native American, they don't outnumber us. There's millions of black people. There's only roughly like a million or no, so of them. All over the Americas. That's, that's damn near the same. They didn't. Thing. They No, they, they didn't. That's what I'm saying. They never outnumbered us. That's why they're on reservations. You get what I'm saying? They There was only a small uh, few. They were actually race traders. Like, they actually... Okay, somebody is saying... Wait, ask. Wait, hold on. Ask him. Okay, let me pull up the chat. It? Do you believe in DNA testing? I don't believe in any beliefs. I don't believe in anything. There's only two things in the world truth or falsehood. There's no in between. But Our as DNA far as DNA, test. as far as DNA testing, DNA testing is a real science, and DNA testing and cloning and genetic modification and things of that nature. The study of genes has been around since before Egypt was around. So, yes, the DNA is real. I mean, it's right there in the Bible. I mean, but um, I don't yes. believe in anything, though. Okay. There's only truth or falsehood. I know that the most high God is real, that the world was created. You know what I'm saying? I know certain things. It's true. Everything else is debatable, but certain truths ain't. Okay, so where did um, the, 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 the black, the uh, black, okay, so the uh, indigenous people so when 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 i say indigenous i can switch that word for people aboriginal autochthonist original inhabitants how about this how about this i want to keep it a super base level black Peter folks about, yes so when i say indigenous i only mean black folks yes okay here we go <coughs> now we got the indigenous people where where were they at we were all over the Americas from the east to the west, but the culture zones was here in the south and in the west. Most of the um, the the densest population was in the south and to the west. But we were everywhere in the Americas. We were all through Mexico. Uh, we were all through Canada. We were all through South America. All right. Do the the Mongoloid mixed race or whatever you the the the. Uh, what'd you call them? The um the 
Asian immigrants, the yeah, Mongolo the, immigrants. Yeah. Okay. The Asian immigrants, right? Do right. they out, do they outnumber the indigenous in South America? They don't outnumber anybody. There isn't um the in, you talking about in South America or North America, brother? Because the Native American, the um, so that's the a whole different Native, group. The Native, so the one the, so that's what now you're we're trying to conflate. No, we're talking about two humongous so-called continents: a southern hemisphere and a, I mean, a southern hemisphere and a northern hemisphere. So you gotta direct the question to which hemisphere and which people on which one. You said the indigenous were all over, right? Right. North, central, and south. Correct. Got it. So what I'm saying is, how did the immigrants come and over populate the people who were here way before the immigrants? Because we left the we we left the south. If you want to, um, you hear about the Mayans disappearing. That is actually a mass migration. So you get a mass migration in history from South America to North America, but there were still um, dark-skinned people down there, and they talked to the foreigners who came, but that was more like a trade zone. Like I'm saying, that's where the first European contact is noted in history, you know what I'm saying, so-called Christopher Columbus. And he didn't touch down in North America. He never seen North America. He touched down in South America. On the island, well, he touched down on the island of Haley, and then the, when he came back, he was all through South America. So, if that's what you're saying, and the people who were over there, the um, the dark skinned people, the copper colored people who were in the South America still during the time of colonization and invasion, those people were taken from South America and brought up here to North America, taken from South America, brought to West Africa, taken from South America, brought to Europe as novelties. You get what I'm saying? And, and that that I hope that answers your question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but hey, uh, just know I'm I'm I really would like to um have a have a discussion with you or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I really want to um get involved with solar division debates because you see I'm I'm rapid fire with it. I don't got no computer in front of me or anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I've been I I love the uh the movement as soon as it got started. I was supporting it. I was sharing it, um, liking the videos, sharing it with people out here in the streets, and then I um I just totally went through a bunch of stuff the past eleven months. But I'm back. I'm here on YouTube. I want all the smoke. You all right. So so would would it be a divine thing from God for black people to just go out and just start forcing white people to get out of our country so we can? Mm, I don't know. I can't comprehend the creator, but I would say this. Man is inspired uniquely as individuals by the creator. So one man is inspired to 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 make a conglomerate of, of nations or tribes and try to over. You can try it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that's the way to go. No, I, I don't feel like overthrowing the government or any of that is the answer. You know what I'm saying? That's where I that's where I kind of like veer off the course from a lot of so-called black conscious people. Okay, I got okay. I got a um a little different question at. Um on your driver's license is your name Chief Sebi Indigenous or is it something? on my driver's license that like doesn't exist? Wilson. No, I don't have a um no, this is an avatar. This is just my way. This is just me coming forth, manifesting into the world and giving them something to see and a voice to hear and a um oh, so content and stuff. That's not my have, name. No, that's not no, my name. People know my name. I mean, I've been on YouTube. People know you my real no, name. You don't have no uh medic no medical coverage or you do? I don't have anything. What about a bank? I don't have anything. I don't live inside neighborhoods. I don't live inside of communities. I, I'm inside. I'm off grid. I'm totally like on the land. I'm out here living free. My family are real how, Indians. How, how, you know what I'm saying? How are you talking to me? I'm on a cell phone. That's I'm on a cell phone. That's what I'm saying. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a TV. I don't have anything. I just got the oh. cell phone. And that's how okay. I produce content. I got like so, two, three hundred videos up. I got all of them so, private. So you you off grid, but you talking to me, and I'm on the grid. Yeah, but, right, but right. You, but you off the grid. But currently, currently, I'm um. Well, you know, off grid means, you know, what I'm saying, living off the land outside of um. I'm not finna play with you, Rob. Right? What kind of serious question what? you got, bro? This is a serious. We not no. Nah, that's not. No, a serious nigga, question. you said you living off grid, but you got to the sell grid. Home. The grid is electrical. 
the grid okay. has something to do with e electrical, electrical power. So how do you how are you use it? How do you charge your cell phone? Solar panel. Okay, cool. Who That's why I say it's not a serious. Who I didn't know it's just. Who made the solar I'm not. But listen, I'm not. Um, somebody on the grid made the solar panel. Check now, me out. Got it. Check now, okay, look, we got it. You, now, let's go past that. Now, hey, Rob Rack. When you, when you pay your cell phone bill, do you use indigenous dollars? Oh, the Gullah. See, my um, hey, um, I'm I'm looking you, at the comment. Yeah, or I'm, do you use? Hold on. Do you use American money? Money with the white man on it, or do you use indigenous trade barter money or items? Like, how did you how did you get that cell phone? Did you use the white man's money? I'm um, I don't answer um, stupid questions, Rob Rack. Um, well, that's not a stupid question. But I'm explaining to you. I'm explaining to it how it is when you're how saying do you pay your cell phone bill is what I'm trying to say. You live check, off the grid. Check me out, brother man. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> check me out, brother man. Uh, I, this ain't this ain't finna be up for discussion. What do you want to build on? Like, what other questions you got for me? I can I ask you some uh, questions. Yeah, you can ask me any questions you want, but but again, um, first, man, I'm not finna play. I'm not finna play here. with you, Rob. Right? Holy shit! I'm, I'm trying to scalp some up here, man. You you over here playing and stuff. Hey, Look, three but uh, people left. Hey, okay. but I know you. Hey, what's been going on? I last time I seen you beat, uh, I forgot, man. It was about 11 months ago. It was a big thing. I was over there at that little after party. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe you don't remember me, but my name was Indigenous Realist. Um, I changed, I changed my avatar, but um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I ain't finna. Uh, I know I want some yeah. daggers thrown at me. I, don't, I want some daggers. Thrown. I know you got that smoke. Throw some daggers at me. What, what kind of questions? Rack my brain, Rob, right? Uh, Does your I'm name say Rob? Does your name say Rob Rack on your ID? Uh, yeah. Well, no. You're lying. It says Robert. It says yeah. Robert. It doesn't say Rack. Yeah, it says Robert Rackley. Okay, so what are we? So now I, where, where do we go from here? Uh, yeah, it's, it's I just shortened my name because that's right. <laughs> it's still it's still my no, I'm name. Like, with your brother, man. I know. Yeah, but it's still like your grandmother's not calling you Chief Sebi. So no, but I, every every I everybody. Call you, I want to call you Little Day Day. Oh no, you can call me um. Oh, you can call me um. Oh, okay, okay. If that's the case, you can call me Chief Sabi Indigenous. Yeah. So higher, okay. higher, higher power. But I thought okay. So now let's get to the second part of the thing. Let me see how many minutes I got. Okay, I got about fifteen minutes. So, um, about Jesus. So you recently found Jesus. Where did you find him at? I didn't find him anywhere. I recently accept him as Your the Lord Christ, and the, the, the Christ. I Is recently he, accepted him as the do Christ. You, do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? I accept him as a, a prophet of God and as the Christ, yeah. As your Lord and your personal Lord and Savior? Yeah. Okay, that's all you have to say. So now. Yeah. But, so, but I only pray to the, there's, listen, there's only one God. Jesus isn't God. There is no Trinity. None of that. Okay, so, what, so, so what, what does Jesus? He isn't the Son of God. None of that. So, oh, he's I mean, just a regular. Go. Dude. Nah, he's just a, a prophet of the Most High, just like all the rest of the prophets of the Most High. Oh, he okay, just brought so, a message. He didn't say worship me. He didn't say pray to me. So, he didn't say do any of that. Man did. So, Je so Jesus was a man, a full man. Yeah, yeah. You didn't hear him about a pierced in the side. Men yeah, bleed. A, yeah, yeah. Men, men also, eat. Men yeah. drink. Men and wash you know feet with hair. Hey, men also have daddies. Men also lie. And inside the Bible, you get the uh genealogy inside of uh of Jesus. You have two genealogies and you have the maternal line and the paternal line, and that's the only thing that actually links Jesus to all the other prophets is his paternal line through Joseph. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when you got all that to look at, if, yeah, if you, he, was, he was a regular yeah, man. Nice. He was a regular man. Um, yeah. Matthew 28, 18 says all power was given to him in heaven and earth. Could, cool. you tell, could you tell me an example of what heavenly power is? Heavenly power, I would say that's divine cosmic power. That, that means like any ability that the Most High wants to imbue on him, bestow right. on him. Like what? Doing just regular shit. Whatever he, do? whatever he wants to do, because he wasn't the only person doing spectacular feats. 
he wasn't the only person performing miracles when he died the 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 disciples asked him what do we do from here and he said go on and perform everything you see me do and more he said if you got faith of mustard seed you can yeah move mountains and all you got to do is believe and all that type of stuff he also uh, said that i was going to be greater than him right that you were going to be greater than him yeah yeah he said that we all were going to be greater than him we were going to do the things he did and greater and we out here doing it we're out here doing it and and what exactly is anybody doing that's greater than what jesus is doing is anybody in the church praising I'm Martin not in the church. That's what I'm say saying. That. I'm not. I'm but not the in church, the church. The church is where you find Jesus, my brother. The like church is not you where you find fit. Jesus at. It no, fit. you find. Well, well I didn't find, find him. You find I didn't him find him in the Bible. Yeah, I didn't find him, little brother. So, can you walk on water? Um, I've ran across water. No, no, no. So if I if I took you on a cruise and I just kicked you off the side of the edge and I stopped the boat though. Can you walk across water? No, because Jesus didn't. Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't think so neither. I thought he was, that was mentioning wisdom. I thought he was just walking across the wisdom of the ages. So I didn't think he walked on water. That's why I said I so, ran across water before. So when 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 Peter reached out his arm, never mind, bro. It was something to do with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's why I took that. Oh, ass. so now so now Jesus is esoteric. Nah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the so, speaking so, of parables. The speaking of parables is esoteric science. Yes, so I would say Jesus okay. is esoteric. Well, you see, he so went to Egypt. Like we okay. gonna we gonna we gonna get it up another day, Rob Rack. But um, yeah. cause I see you running out of time, man. But um, it's no, no, no. Great I got to be like, up here with like you, man. I, I got like nah, that ain't enough time, brother. We talking about nah. We ain't going we ain't gonna butcher nah. You. I what other you. Indian questions? You got okay. any more Indian okay. questions? That's a yeah. little deep. You trying to go deep on me? I was. Was, was you know Jesus, what I'm saying? Wait, hold on. Were, do you think that the indigenous people of the Americas are related to Jesus Christ? Yes. When? Yes. And oh, that's right. And so you believe in Second Ezra's? Then you think that you could use Second? I Ezra. don't believe in beliefs, Rob. Right. Oh, so you could show me exactly how um, how the Israelites went. Pass through Arsaref, and that's America. Um, repeat that last part, bro. Okay, so how did the Israelites get to America? Oh, the Israelites can't. Um, I'm not gonna answer that question right now. Um, but we can discuss it. We can discuss it. I ain't gonna. Uh, I ain't gonna leave nothing open for for three minutes. Remember that two huh? hours, two hours and three minutes, y'all. Two hours into the video in three minutes. Oh, what I ran from you. I ain't gonna run from you, bro. If that's what no. you said, I'll answer it. They got over here, they got over here, they walked here. Didn't you see all that walking they were doing in the old testament? They were walking steadily conquering giants, they were slaying giants. How do you feel about the giants? The the, the Nephilim. How do you feel about that? So, what do you want to do? I mean, Rob, right, right, we don't got enough time for it, but we can okay, set it up, wait. bro. Okay, wait. So they walked the same path. Man, they got over here. However, the Most High led them. They say they were following. They walked. They walked over the. The Israelites walked over the Bering Straits. That's what you're saying. Probably some did. Some probably came on boats. Some probably walked a different route. I believe all the. I don't believe in beliefs, but wait, um, all the, all the continents wait, are are connected, bro. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Show me how you can walk a different route other than the Bering Straits to get from. That's what I was just about to tell you, and um. Yeah. I could use that a thousand dollars too, brother man. Out here off grid, I had to go on grid and go get some supply. No, I'm playing with you, but um, yeah. no, no, no. Look, um, show me the other route. How how could that's, that's, from? I could show you other routes. You know what I'm saying? Um, if okay. you had a mind to comprehend, you know what I'm saying? I, I got I got a white man's map in the internet. Fuck that. No, no, no. That's what. I, that's the problem, Rob Rack. You have that European descendants. Um, map inside the internet but if you look at older maps like the Piri Reese and you're looking at a Gleason map when you look at the Piri Reese and the ancient monk map and things like that and I also got a little jewel in my um in my put up in my files man about a map where it described the inhabitants of every continent and it's older than any other map found you know what I'm saying oh. so I got to drop that okay so but um yeah if you look at the Piri Reese so, map you'll so see great. exactly okay. Wow. Oh, the, so the Piri, how you how I spell that, brother? P I R I, P I R I space R E I S. Piri Reese map. Let me see. 
and you also type in uh, ancient monk map and you'll get um you'll get you'll get a picture of what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Yeah. See I can't see it. Bring it up. Bring it up so we can see it. I am. God damn. Man, I've been waiting to get it on. Man, I don't know. Rod Rack, I was thinking about you the other day. I got a notification from Solar Division. I say, man, I sure would like to get some of that Rob Rack smoke right about now. All right, let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, there we go. Hold up. Uh, uh, go to images. Uh, I am on images. Okay, I don't so, know how to work a computer. So all this uh, to the right, that's land. Okay, okay look. Go, and there's go. also a land bridge here, so all this would have to be water, if you can see my uh, pointer. So all this would be water. This would, where would Asia be? Because this is Alaska. Um, that you're looking at the tip of South America. If you this, look up, you're looking at the tip of South America, right there. This is the tip of South America. No, up, brother, to the left. This and to the left. Oh, that yeah. right there. This the bottom. This, this is the. That's bottom. the tip of South America. Yeah, this yeah. Australia. Oh, okay. This. Australia. Yeah, That's yeah, that. yeah. Okay. Start messing with the maps, Rob. Right? Rack, no, you're gonna no, find no, some when you said the white me. man's map. Yeah, no, you said that there was an alternate way. Hold up. There's an Wait, yeah, you gotta look at um like I like I said, I don't got anything right here in front of me, so I can't just find you a good map. But um what I wanna say yeah. is this. What I wanna say is this though, and maybe this uh, um this will clear oh, it up a shit. little bit. They walked the alternate way. Okay, go ahead, brother. Come on, man, I got a few minutes. Got like five minutes. Um right, right, right. There was I don't, I don't know, bro. Um, say, man, I appreciate you for pulling me up, man. Um, I don't know. How, how can I contact you, man? And I'll discuss anything. You can just, and I maybe will be able to pull up some stuff. But how can I contact you? Uh, shit, you can. Uh, or or, or just send me an email. Just say yo or something um, at themudtribe at gmail.com. T-H-E-M-U-H-D-T-R-I-B-E at gmail.com. That's hell of shit. I didn't even get to. Oh. How about coach the hold number on, four? Hold on. hold on, I gotta get to my I gotta find my notes so I can put it in notes. <laughs> use notes. There we go, it's under Samsung. Alright. Alright, what's your email? Coach. The word coach. Uh -huh. The number four. Uh huh. Sabi. S E B I. The number seven. At gmail.com. All right. All right. And um, yeah, send me send me an email, man. Uh, because like I said, I don't I don't believe in beliefs, bro. So like, truth is un unmovable, unshakable. It can't be yeah. changed. And so therefore, I'm not big chested or or egotistic where I think that I can't be wrong. So I would love to be proven wrong. No, I I don't want to be wrong. I want to give you the space and opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I would. So that you can teach us the other so way. So I can dig myself in a hole so you can destroy me later. No, I'm not going to destroy oh, you. Oh, okay, that's okay. Just, that's on you. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? Okay. Because that's your, that's your, you know, what that's the way you, you know, think. You know what I'm saying? That there were two ways that people could walk over here. That's very interesting. Uh, the real so, Israel said to ask me if I think I'm a God. No, man, I'm created by the Most High, man. There's only one God, the Creator, the Most High. That's it. I don't give <laughs> hey, him a name. I don't. Hey, I don't give him a name or nothing because he doesn't have pe peers. And yet, wait, wait, wait. Pa, pa Naya Allah lawyer said he off the grid. He's supposed to have. He's math. supposed to have maps at all time. <laughs> No, nah, the map is inside the head, man. I'm right here in Texas, man. I know where the hell I'm at. What do I need a map for? You you can't be off the grid in Texas, nigga. That, with a cell phone, nigga. Google. You don't know what off. Grid. You don't know what off grid is, right? right? That's why I ain't want to engage. You live in your your uncle backyard in the tent. That's, no, that's nigga. Crazy. No. You, you live in a goddamn RV. <laughs> no. Hell no. Gas, man. You, <laughs> you funny, man. man. That's man, I'm, I'm in the country. I'm in the country, yeah. Rob Rack. Look at my videos and, and you'll uh, see where you, I'm at. I'm in the country. Own, do you make your own clothes or do you go buy them at the uh, on-grid stores? 
Man, I'm um yeah, I appreciate it, man. Good meeting you, man. Uh, good meeting you, bro. Yeah, man. This nigga, this nigga I'm gone, bro. Right, but bro. uh contact me, hit me up, bro. I will, bro. All, All right. right. Appreciate it. Yep, peace. All right. That was fun.